Hey y'all, it's Mocha Mima. Let me play my intro and then I'll get into the description of this video. I believe that all of your dreams are the reason. You took my heart on my keys and my passion. You took my heart on my sleeve for decoration. You mistake my love, I brought for you for foundation. All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had, something that you never seen, something that you never been. Mm -hmm. But I wake up and nothing's wrong. Just get ready for work, 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 work. Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Mocha Mima. Y'all, Christina went live after the episode um, to talk about what was going on with her and Kobe. So here is part of the live from Instagram. If you want to hear the full live, by all means, go over to her Instagram channel and hear it. But I gave you about a 20 minute or so snippet of it. So you don't have to go through the whole thing because she's answering comments you know she likes to talk this and that and the third so here it is y'all please like and subscribe click on the bell button for the uploads and i will see y'all shortly thanks for being here and thanks for everything y'all peace why um i didn't know that that conversation was going to come up in the scene I hadn't seen Kobe. Kobe and I hadn't filmed together. We hadn't seen each other. I was going through something with my husband. I'm not, I told her I was, I told her I would talk to her next time I seen her in person. That was the next time I saw her in person. So I think that it's like, it's look, I think it's looking like something is not. I literally said I would talk to her in person about it. And that was when I saw her in person. Now, mind you, if I knew it was going to be like a, a heated argument, I wouldn't have had the conversation, period. Because I don't argue with people. I mean, it, my husband, but that's different. He's somebody that I'm in an intimate relationship with. I need you and Kobe. To, I mean, Kobe and I have talked about collaborating since. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Why not call her to get clarity? Because I was, again, I was... If you're married to somebody and your husband doesn't come home for four days and you're like, oh, are we like... And he's talking about the divorce word. And I'm like, oh, are you coming home? And are are you divorced? Are we going to get a divorce? And I'm sitting here with two kids in a penthouse by myself. All I'm thinking about is, what's my next move? Like, yeah, I need to make sure I can take care of me and my kids, you know, on my own. Like, what's going on? That's all I'm thinking about. I'm not thinking about any work. I didn't do no work. And I definitely wasn't thinking about like co a collaboration. Now, in that time, and they don't show this on film, but there was a conversation where, in that conversation when I was like, well, did you call me? That was because she was, Kobe was told by LaToya that me and Brandon were going through something and that Co LaToya told Kobe that she needs to reach out to me and call me to check on me. She never called me to check on me about what I was going through over those last four days that I hadn't talked to her. She never called. She said the only text messages I got was about the collaboration. It was never like, Christina, are you okay? I heard what's going on between you and Brandon. Toya told me. It was only, are we going to do this collaboration together or what? Are you going to, you know, or do you want to like collaborate? And it's just like, I didn't even know at the time she knew I was going through that. But like looking back and knowing like you knew that I was going through that and all you were thinking about was a collaboration. Like I still didn't even throw that up. 
Because I'm just like, okay, well, maybe that's just was all that was on her mind. But it wasn't all that was on my mind. I have a real life. Like, this is my real life. I was really going through something. And I don't blame her. Like, I'm not mad at her about it. Don't nobody have to call me and check on me. I'm not that person that thinks, oh, somebody should have done this for me. And somebody should have reached out to me. If you don't want to reach out to me or if you didn't, that's okay. People are grown and we have our own lives and we have our own things going on. You can't, we can't make things just about us. Like that's delusional to me for me to think that people don't, other people don't have other things going on. That's what was on her mind. She wanted to collaborate. She didn't want to call to check on me about that. Okay, that's fine. She don't have to. I'm not mad at her about that either. But that's why I didn't call. Like I was going through something. I'm invested in the show, but please don't turn your husband into wives. Keep them out of wives' business. I mean, I agree with that. That's ridiculous if you're really friends with her, but you said you're not going to let the show ruin your friendship. Um, I don't know what you mean by that. That's why I said drama sales production wants his to roll. Of course. I mean, in a real life scenario, if there wasn't any cameras around, that would have never went that way. Like, y'all got to understand that. Like, I'm not going to say my age again because I got plus that for saying my age, but I've been around the block. You know what I'm saying? Like, something that minuscule is not enough for me to be arguing with somebody or ruin a friendship or start like trying to tear somebody's character down i i don't do that stuff i don't do that and i'm not i'm not going to i'm not going to start today i didn't do it then and i'm not going to do it now so were you approached to do the show how were you approached to do the show somebody reached out to me and they, um, they, they didn't want to do the show, but they wanted to refer me, recommend me for the show. So they made the connection to me and the executive producers. And I interviewed with the executive producers and it was a go. It's always going to look like something. It's not on TV. It is like, it, it really was never that serious. It never... It never should have should have went that way. Like I'm I'm very disappointed in how it went. And I'm not I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not blaming Kobe. I'm not blaming I'm not blaming production. I'm just disappointed. Honestly, in how it went down. I I feel like it did not have to go down that way. Kobe and I have had had our conversations. Hold on, hold on, there we go. Kobe and I have, we talked about it. Like, you guys will see on the next, um, in the next couple of episodes. We talked about it. <clears throat> y'all keep asking me how are me and Kobe now. Y'all just have to keep watching the show. Was it worth it to look like this on national TV? I mean, I think that at the end of the day, you have to like really be secure in who you are and know who and know who you are and be comfortable with other people having opinions and judging you. And I'm I'm fine with that. Like I'm comfortable with that. This life is not like it's not new for me. Um I'm not from Detroit, but I'm from Buffalo. And my, you know, my parents were very well known in Buffalo. So we've always kind of like been in the spotlight. Brandon and I, 
you know, had a star factory. We've always been like in the spotlight. I am a former artist. I've always like, you know, this is nothing. You know, it's just, I, I, to put it, the best way I can put it is I felt prepared for this through my life. Like I felt prepared for this. So I, I it doesn't bother me to be honest with you. Is there something that could have been done to change the outcome? Uh oh, can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Let me know if y'all can hear me because I hear I see some people saying they can't hear me. Oh, you can. Okay, well, I'm gonna address this comment. Some people saying they can. I okay, I'm good. So I want to address this comment. It's it just it was just giving selfish. If that's little sis, then why not help her? It's giving scared. She's gonna be bigger than you. No, baby. You don't. You you just will have to know me. There's what God has for me is for me. What God has for Kobe is for Kobe. I will always help Kobe get to where she is. Like I don't have a problem with that. That's not the case. I think that. Um, I think that you have to really listen to what I'm saying. The, the only issue was that the collaboration was already an existing collaboration that I had. So for me to go pitch my collaboration that I'm working on already, I'm already posting with this brand, and I'm like, okay, this will be really cool if production followed me to one of my influencer um, or one of my content days with Harper Ray because I'm working hard with this brand and she's working hard with me, you know, she's forking out, you know, she brands have to pay you. And so you want to like show up for the brand in the best way you can. So I'm like, oh, this will be good for the brand. It's a black owned brand. Let me make sure this brand gets some spotlight. Let me pitch this to collab or to production so that production can follow me and highlight this brand this Detroit-based brand, this black woman. When I go to uh, pitch my collaboration, I can't pitch my collaboration. They're like, oh, we're already following Kobe with Harper Ray. What y'all have to understand is Kobe and Harper Ray did not have a collaboration yet. The only way Kobe and Harper Ray would have had a, co a collaboration is if I would have said, Kobe, I, I'm adding Kobe to the collaboration. It was still my collaboration, my contract with Harper Ray. I still would have had to pitch that to production. So when you prematurely do something like that, without us having had a conversation and me adding you to it yet, that put me in a position to where I couldn't do what I was supposed to do for the brand because it was over there. And that what I'm saying is maybe she didn't know that that's how it worked. I don't know. That's why I was trying to get clarity on. That was it. That's the only issue. It wasn't like, oh, I don't want her to collaborate with me. I don't want to work with her. It was my idea to work together. people can't hear me. I'm sorry, guys. Is there anything that could have changed the outcome? Um, I think that if, I just feel like when I, when I brought it up, when I brought up the conversation, when I said, you know, speaking of, you know, the Harbor Ray collaboration, I was confused. I feel like it was met with a lot of resistance and defense. And she said she was being defensive. She admitted that she was being defensive. Um, I feel like if she would have heard me out and heard what I was trying to say and what I was really trying to ask her and get clarity on, that the conversation wouldn't have gone that way. Like, I feel like as sisters, like, we're not going to always agree. We're not going to always get along. 
we don't have to we don't have to yell at each other we don't have to like be nasty we don't have to like try to go and damage somebody's character because we don't agree or we don't like something how did you work with this brand and it never made it to production just keep watching the show she kept over talking me that's what I'm saying, like, and it was a lot of that. Like, y'all didn't hear it. Like, Holly was literally raising her voice at me. And I'm like, I'm sitting there like, what did I say wrong? All I asked was for clarity. Never in a nasty way. Like, I, so I legitimately was confused as to why she was so upset. I didn't get it. She was over talking me a lot. Now, since then, we've talked about it, and I understand now what she was feeling in the moment, and it had nothing to do with me. And she looks, I don't even know if they show that part on the on, on our next conversation, but she explains that that was a projection from something else. So. I believe that all of your dreams are duration You took my heart, all my keys, and my passion You took my heart, I'm a sleep, a decoration You mistaken my love, I brought for you for foundation All that I want